<laughs> hey man. Today has been a good day already. Been a great morning. I'll let y'all know. I got some good in there. Nah, I'm just playing, but what's going on, y'all? I'm about to do it. I'm about to hit you guys up with a nice little Navy vlog for the day. Just, you know, just get active on, 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 the, on the thing and just really go crazy. Um, I ain't got the most, the, the most things planned, but, you know, I want to really get active and start really showing you guys, like, some of the stuff that I'll be doing on my day to day, kind of how, I'm, like, what it's like here at Navy uh, Hospital Corpsman, A School, and just kind of give y'all some context to like what life's about, like what life is like by you in this situation. So right now, <clears throat> it's Saturday. Um, so here on this base, we have, a, we have a couple different, we have a couple different like cafeterias, cafes type deals, right where you can get like your food for free it's open like three times three times a day uh and uh yeah it's open for a certain amount of hours so before i get my day going i've been chilling in the bed just you know whatever blah 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 but now i might go get me some food for the defect and i'll show y'all what it looked like i'm gonna show y'all what it looked like like I'll show you kind of what the base looked like kind of what the environment looked like um, some of the things that you gotta do, like a little small process that you gotta go through when you're getting, gonna come in, in and out just to make sure everybody's accounted for it. Blah, 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 blah. And then I'm gonna take y'all to the big next. I'm thinking I'm gonna go get a haircut today before I step out tonight, go get me a haircut. Um, maybe do a little shopping. They got it like here on the one, the A school, the hospital corporate A school here in San Antonio. It's a joint base, it's a big ass base. Fucking Navy, Army. Coast Guard, Air Force, we all up in this joint. I mean, everybody here, we got like this brand new $10 million mall they just built. <clears throat> so it's kind of fire. It's got like, it's kind of like a mixture between like Target, Walmart. It's got everything in that joint. It got clothes, liquor, <laughs> liquor. <laughs> it's got everything in that joint. So it's, it's low key straight. Um, the barbershop, a bunch of little restaurants, not restaurants, but little fast food joints. A uh, whole bunch of stuff in there. So. I'm gonna take y'all that way around that way. Show y'all what some of the little kicking spots is on base when you still can't leave. Cause obviously y'all probably don't know right now cause y'all not, not in the Navy yet or the Air Force or the Army, whatever. But you get your, you get your liberty in phases. So it's like, basically it's like, they don't let you do everything at one time. Like you're not just gonna come to the base, come to the A school, come to boot camp. Well, you ain't gonna, you ain't get shit in boot camp. You ain't gonna get shit in boot camp. What the hell? <laughs> I saw that. You like it? You like it? I don't know about that. <laughs> you got some talent though. You, you can get down low. <laughs> they not gonna let you do anything in boot camp. I'm not even gonna hold you. You, you. You're not gonna be able to do shit in boot camp. Like nothing at all. But when you get to A school, it's when low key you can kind of flock. Oh. Booty 12 o'clock. I mean, hold on. Oh, Lord. How you doing? Alright, I'll sell this thing. Oh, it's gone. Oh, you guys were here and you stole it. Oh, I got it. Check in out. 2 hours. Alright, appreciate it. Have a good day. So like I said, that's what you gotta do right there. You gotta cack in and out so they know like, okay, he left the building, he just came back in the building. People be sneaking out, be going to the girl's side, you know what I'm saying? Going to the girl's floor. <laughs> and we, we, but um, yeah, once you get to, once you get to, uh, once you get to, once you get to A school, rather it be like, Rather be like Corman A School in San Antonio, or you like an aviation rate, and you go to fucking, uh, you go to Florida, Panama City, Mayport, uh, wherever you're gonna go. You know, people go to Mississippi, some people go to Cali. But once you get to A School, you get way more freedom, and everyone is different. Corman School is a little low key tight. It's like one of the tightest ones because we got one of the hardest programs. It's like one of the most fast paced and one of the most challenging. So the rules here are kind of strict, but, um, once you get to A school, 
it get low-key fire what's up y'all y'all just came from defect no uh oh it get kind of it get kind of fire because you can start wearing civvies and stuff like that you can start kind of going out to the city do your thing you know blah, 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 like really get crunk literally get crazy but um when you get here it's gonna be in phases so it's like the first month and a half you get here you can't even leave the base you got to be like solely on base only wearing military clothing only like can't go nowhere and really it's like that because in corporate school they'd be like you know corporate school really challenging and a lot of people fell out a lot of people end up getting kicked out because they can't they can't pass a test so really the first month and a half you really don't need to go nowhere because you really need to lock in but after that you go phase two phase three phase two you can go on base you can wear civilian clothes still can't drink or stay over out overnight but what's going on my boy you can still really get it cracking like i'm on phase two right now and <laughs> phase two low-key nice especially when you've just been in boot camp for three and a half four months plus another month and a half on top of that here without being able to go nowhere phase two nice and in the navy in the military y'all can come to find out you know rules only rules if you get caught breaking them other than that you know it's really free game out here so just know that you know what i'm saying it's a free game out here it's free game out here so look i'm gonna try to flip my camera so this kind of what the base look like it kind of looks like i'm not gonna lie it kind of looks like um it kind of looks like a college college kind of campus low-key like you got a bunch of this these are air force dorms these navy dorms navy dorms i think that's like an army dorm over there and there's a big ass gym over there uh there's another little small little convenience store back down that street where it's like a domino's and <clears throat> a domino's and subway burger king pizza zone little gyro spot little coffee spot uh, barbershop in there, little dry cleaners in there. <clears throat> also down that street, you got like some more Air Force stuff. Like, I don't really be going down that way too much, man. Nah, it ain't no point, but there's also a couple hotels down there. So, if people want to come on base, if people ever want to come on base, they could. Man, Lee, my boy, just came from Defect. What they have in there? Wings? Yeah. Look at these Air Force fuckers right here. What's up, Air Force? Hello. Uh, what's your name? Gonzalez. Yeah, see, this is why I fuck with them. How you doing? Weirdos. But yeah, anyway, um, we got like a little. This building right here, it's called a sack. It's basically just like they got a whole bunch of games in there. Pool tables, uh, movie. It's a movie theater in there. A little dancing hall, a little mini golf in the basement. It's low key straight, and that's like that's. If you come here and you on phase one, you still you know you trying to make a little date mate. You trying to be on a little date vibe. The sack is a great option, and boy, I tell you, it got many things you could do, and it's definitely one of the best date options for phase one on base liberty. I think I'm gonna make a video about that. You too. Best plays, best places to take a play on phase one, phase one, Corman School. That's one of them for sure. Um, all right, so then look, usually we got this big bridge right here. Like when it's a school day, when it's a school day, we all have to march together, like our whole class. So in our class right now, it's like 70 something people all march down this thing down the hall all the school in our hats in our uniform go across this bridge and that big building over there that big ass building i'm gonna pass it not that one right there's one right behind it but that's the it's called a defect basically it's like the cafeteria so it's a huge building though so because it we all eat in there like at the same time navy air force army we all be eating in there at the same time so it's two floors big ass building a stupid big building and then but it got you know got it got it's, it's got it's, it's got it's good stuff you know it's got some pretty good stuff in there 
I really can't complain. I try to stay as grateful as possible, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna show y'all when we get in there what it look like and we'll see what we got for lunch today. At the end of the day, I don't care. It's free. It's free. I spent enough money. So I'll see y'all in a second. All right, let's see what we got. Y'all, that's my I've been needing Oh, yeah. Huh? I can't see, so I'm just trying to, you know, you gotta squint a little bit so you can see. All right, can I get some, can I get some greens? Can I get some mashed potatoes? Can I get some mac and cheese? And some Milo? What that mean? You can only get one more and that'll be the meat Oh, that, that's fine. Okay. I can always come back. I can always come back? Come back, get to break down, come back and give it to me. All right. That's how you do it. That's how you, that's. We can't give it on to you one time, we get it for I understand. I understand. I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, what up? I need some chicken wings. Yeah, yeah. Just come on that side. All right, then. What's up, bud? See, check this out. It don't even look that bad, right? It don't even look that bad. Yeah, it don't even look that bad. Yeah, over here, they got fucking whole, like, salad bar, bread, bagels, look, cakes, and like that. I need hot sauce. Hot sauce, hot sauce, hot sauce. Fruits. They got potato chips and all type of shit. I mean, really, this, this joint is pretty fucking big. I'm not even gonna lie. But I'm about to eat. So I'll hit y'all. I'll show y'all what's popping in a second. I ain't even gonna lie. <clears throat> that shit was gas. That shit was fire. Tangilu. That's good, my boy. Dude. That shit was fucking gas. Mm -hmm. And for the free. Oh. Alright, so I got about a, I got about a good hour to kill. I just put some laundry in. I just put some laundry in, so I got about a good hour to kill. So I think I'll take y'all to the small next. I'm gonna check my bank account real quick. You don't wanna do that. Baby, don't do me dirty. I really don't even wanna check this, boy. I've been swiping. I've been swiping crazy. No lie. A little bit out of control. <laughs> I'm gonna take y'all to the big next though. Show y'all what's like, what it looked like, how it is. See if the bar is free, for real, for real. So I can get my cut. Okay. That ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. We're getting drunk tonight. <laughs> But yeah, let me show y'all like the back end of this other this other end. So like, obviously you guys know like, besides the people that are just students here, there's like instructors and there's chiefs and there's, you know, like officers and stuff who live here, like all around through the year. Like I'm only gonna be here for a couple of months, but they are gonna be here. They've been here for years. Some been here for years. They are gonna be here for even longer. So while well, we about to walk past some military base housing, and you see, and this, this is the stuff that the military will pay for, like the Navy, the Air Force, the Army, they'll pay for you to live in these places, especially if you get um, what they call a billet. Basically like work orders to come to do this and like teach the students here and like be an instructor here or overseer here. 
they pay for all this stuff and it's not it's really not that bad like these houses there's a lot of bigger houses like on the base this is just really close to it like we still really close to the base and these like pretty solid houses as you guys can see but around here though there's some huge houses like military houses with like four families living there that is being paid for us it's really nice man and you know a lot of times i be hearing people talk about how they hate being in the military da -da 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 -da. but i'm not gonna lie i rock with it heavy as y'all can see like just walking around base i'm talking to a bunch of people i've met so many different people I'm building so many relationships and meeting so many good people and just, you know, growing as an individual myself, just, I really feel like, I feel like I'm flying, I'm not gonna lie. And I got this vision, I got this plan. I know, I know by the time I'm done with the Navy, my YouTube is gonna be jumping out the roof. Do me a favor right now. If you're new to my channel, if you're thinking about joining the Navy, the Air Force, the Army, you know, I have, uh, I'm going to the big necks. How much? Woo! Yes, it is. That's love. Shout out to you. Of course, man. What's your name, my boy? Matthew. Matthew. Yeah. Alfredo. Alfredo. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Of course. I appreciate that. All I ask is you put on your seat. No problem. Where is the big neck? You take a right right here. Alright. And then straight down this road. Alright, cool. Are you new here? Uh no. I've been here for about a two months. And you haven't been to the big necks yet? No. Oh wow. I just drive off post and hang out. <laughs> I mean hey. So what are you you say you're in C school? I'm in uh medic school or right. nursing school for the army. Oh, you're in the army? Yeah. Ah. Okay, it makes This is the big ass mall. It's huge. It's like, it's kind of like actually huge. Like, it's kind of nice. No lie. God bless you. She didn't even say thank you. Like, a bunch of, like, Obviously, all the Navy, all the Army, all the Air Force people, they all be here. And it's, it's open to, like, veterans as well. So they be up in here. Uh, Starbucks and shit. Bunch of little kiosks, bunch of little stores. GameStop. The food court down that way. G GSE. See, like they got this big ass, big ass, big ass store. So, I'm looking for possibly like a nice little, nice little Carhartt shirt or something because, truth be told, you only get to bring the one little bag to boot camp. I only got room for like two things of clothes. So coming here, coming to A school in Texas, you got your bag that you have at boot camp and your people can send you all your shit, but I ain't had my people send me none of my stuff yet. So I just been, everything I got that I've been wearing out is all new. So every time I want to go out, every time I want to go out, which is pretty, pretty often, I got to fuck around buying new clothes which is kind of hefty on the wallet. And, you know, it is what it is. And this store, you know, malls don't usually be having a lot of stuff for men anyway. But this spot definitely is ain't very good for like swagginess. But they do have a little Carhartt section. They do have a little car heart section. They got a Nautica section. I could fuck with a Nautica T too. I, I wouldn't mind fucking with a Nautica T, but let me see what Carhartt got for me. Um, yeah, they got a nice little car heart section. 
and they got i bought a tv from here funny story when i first got here bro they had this tv they had this tv in the wrong in the wrong section it was marked down it was marked down like a hundred and something dollars i'm like damn i don't even want a tv i'm like hey if i get this if i'm like if i get this tv though are y'all gonna have to honor this price tag he's like yeah unfortunately we are so i'm just like fuck I just snagged that boy it was like 50 dollars for a nice tv that i still have not turned on to this day but yep so this is the big next i'm gonna show y'all what the barbershop look like i can't not really seeing anything quality shirt wise um actually really disappointed i just want a, a regular white carhartt shirt they don't got and i don't really want to wear nautica to be honest or american eagle or any of that shit. i might have to go to the actual mall and just go before i go out but yeah this is that's all for me folks These sweatpants kind of hard, ain't they? And these sweatpants kind of tough? These is... Nah, face.